Understanding Pensioners Discount, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a very interesting and practical phrase in English, pensioners discount. This term is commonly encountered in various settings, and understanding it can be quite beneficial. Stick with us to explore what it means, where you can expect to encounter it, and how to use it in conversation. A pensioner's discount refers to a special reduction in price offered to pensioners or retirees. This discount is a way businesses show appreciation and support for the elderly, acknowledging their contributions to society and assisting them in their retirement years. It's important to note that a pensioner is someone who receives a pension, typically because they are beyond the working age or have retired from active employment. Pensioners' discounts are prevalent in many sectors, including retail stores, for clothes, groceries, and other goods, public transportation, reduced fares on buses, trains, and subways, entertainment venues, lower prices for movie theaters, museums, and parks, utilities and services, discounts on electricity, water, and phone bills, as well as services like haircuts. To avail of these discounts, pensioners often need to show proof of their age or retirement status, such as an ID card. Pensioners discounts are not just about saving money, they play a significant role in encouraging social inclusion. By making activities more affordable, pensioners are encouraged to engage more with their community Supporting financial stability, they help pensioners manage their finances better, especially those on a fixed income. Recognizing contributions, these discounts are a form of societal respect and gratitude towards the older generation for their years of work and contribution. We hope this video has shed some light on the concept of pensioners discount and its significance in society. It's a wonderful example of how language mirrors cultural practices and values. Whether you're a pensioner yourself, know someone who is, or just learning English, we hope you found this information useful. Remember, learning a language is not just about words and grammar, it's about understanding the culture and practices that come with it. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next video.